It's Nexus from Horizon Craft, and today I will be showing you guys a tutorial on how to make a no tick sugarcane farm. This sugarcane farm produces insane amounts of sugarcane, and it's an easy way to get book to get infinite bookshelves. All right, so let's first get into it. So what you're gonna do is make a redstone clock. So what you want to do is make a T like this, then destroy the middle block. Next, put a repeater facing left into your in the middle. Now, put a redstone dust on the outside and a redstone torch on the other side. I should get all the materials I need for this first part. Next, put a redstone torch. Now you've completed it, and now you just want to take your lever and put it on the outside so you can toggle it. So now it's off. So now come out two redstone and place two blocks here and two blocks here. Next, you're gonna put two dispensers facing up. They have to be facing up. Now connect to the redstone. Next, put a stair a stair block facing in on one of the on the outside dispenser. Now place two temporary blocks right here and have a chest facing out. This is where you'll be collecting all your sugar cane. Next, put a hopper facing to the chest. Oh yeah, I tried to do a little trick move there. Did not work. All right, put a hopper facing into the chest. And now you wanna do is place a dirt block on the in between the hopper and the staircase. Next, you're gonna surround the hopper dirt and staircase with quartz blocks. So, th one, two, three. One, one, two, three. Once you've done that, the next step is the water buckets. I'm sorry I didn't show you this before, but you need you'll need two water buckets for this. So first, you're gonna need to turn on your redstone clock. So it's the, the lever. As you can see, it is on. Put it in the top right corner, and you can see it's dispensing. And then you put the other one in. See, like this, they're going, they're come, the water is coming in at the exact same second. We do not want that. So take one of the dispenser waters out from the dispenser and put it back in. If it's still going, just keep going until it is. They're alternating. See, they're still going at the same time. If this happens, your sugarcane farm will not be functional. See, like that, it's alternating. This is what we want. So next, take some glass and surround the outsides. First are two by threes on the outsides. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now what you're going to want to do is place a solid block right there and then a piston on top of that facing the dirt. You also need a piston for this. So place your piston and now you can cover the roof with the glass. You must use glass for this because this needs sunlight for the sugar cane farm to work. Next, put a repeater down on one on two ticks, like that. Then make a staircase leading up to the piston. Now connect that with redstone, but don't do this yet because that will start off the piston and it will get it annoying. So now what you're going to want to do is place your sugar cane in the grass, and then put two glass panes right there, so it goes so the sugar cane goes into the hopper when collected. Now you can connect the redstone, and there you go. That's all you have to do, and you can extend the storage space if you want, so just add a chest there, a hopper facing down, and then another two chests. A chest will fill up within a matter of time, 
very quick, and this is the best way to get sugar cane. <laughs> so now I'm just going to wait AFK for about three minutes, and just to show you how fast this is. I'll do a little time lapse for you guys. sugar cane within five minutes of waiting AFK.